I'm just working on a bit of sugar paper and I've got um, a, a unison soft pastel, which is a, it's a really strong dark colour. So it's the sort of colour that you could end up um, producing work that all looks very dark and heavy. And you can see that if I press really hard with it, I do get really strong, um, heavy marks. If I was drawing something like rocks, then this would be really, really useful. Um, however, if I want to convey something that's really very light and delicate, then I can just, I mean, there's so much pigment in these pastels that you can just let it graze along the surface um, and you'll get a kind of hairline, hairline mark. And life gets really interesting when you start to change between one and the other. So if I was going to do something like a horse's mane, I could be really strong at the top but then bring my pressure off and be much more gentle as I, as I came down. So let me just, there's just so many ways that you can convey um, what something feels like, um, but pressure is just a really important one of them. That's charcoal. And again, if you, if you rub things, which is another kind of way to make a mark, you can see how the different media actually behave in different ways. If you rub into charcoal, um, it almost disappears. It goes so soft. Whereas a pigmented strong pastel, like a unison pastel, it does soften, but not a huge amount. Um, if I was sketching something out and I wasn't sure where it was going to go, I would be much lighter with my marks as I was trying to place something on the paper. Um, or I'd use a pastel pencil um, and I'd sketch it, or, or I'd use charcoal. If I, say so, I've got something like this that is quite a lot that's on, and I decide that I don't, I don't want it to be there. So there's there's a few different things you can do with it. Some people like using a dry brush to remove some pastel. But so like if I'm using my Colorfix primer, which you can just see how much pastel it takes, it's amazing. Um, say I wanted to build up. You see, you can you can. You can put layers on over that and it, it's, it's just wonderful, but you can also scrape it back. And it takes the, um, as, as, as it did before, it takes, it, it, it does it even better with this because this surface is designed to, um, to take, honestly, it, it can take about 30 different layers if you keep, if you keep scraping it back. <laughs>